What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Billy Kibaki and today I'm going to show you how to install Henkaku on your PS Vita. Very simple so just follow my step and you can have it done. Now for this to work your PS Vita or your PS TV need to be on 3.60 okay so let's get started so go ahead in your browser and when you're in your browser in the address bar up top go ahead and type nkaku Okay, let me focus. Let me get this to focus. Okay, so that's what you need to type. Nkaku.xyz. Now press enter right here. And it's gonna load this page up. So go ahead now and press install. And you're gonna get greeted with this message so press install now if it fails just try again sometimes it will work the first time sometimes you have to do it more than once oh there we go and it's now being installed Perfect. Now Nkaku has just been installed on the Vita as you just saw. So let's scroll down. And now we have this new icon. Let me focus the camera again. So now this icon is the macular shell. You can use this to access the, the PS Vita memory card and stuff. So before you do anything else, you want to go up to settings and you want to enter settings now go down to Nkaku settings now you will see that you have an extra settings um, an extra menu in the settings so go to Nkaku settings and go down to enable unsafe homebrew 8x now press circle to go back out and exit the settings now go back down to macular shell, press X, enter macular shell, and as you can see we have a bunch of folders now. So from right here go ahead and press try, uh, select and you're going to get an IP address right there. So that's the IP address you need to put it in FileZilla. So on the PC, bring up FileZilla, and then we're gonna enter the IP address. Your IP address might be a different one. So let's go ahead and enter the IP address. Okay, now the part where it says 1337, you need to put that in the port section right here. So 1337, now press quick connect and that's it. We are now connected to the Vita. Now what I need to do is find games and the uh, application that I just put in the video right here in the video folder so double tap and here is the game that I just extract and here is the Vita shell. So go over to the PS Vita now. This is the PS Vita. So you want to enter UXO right here. Go all the way down. Right click. Create new directory. And let's call this one VP 
K games. Press OK. And here you go. Here we just created this folder. Now let's create another folder. And let's call this one VPK apps. And press OK. Now there we have two new folders. So I'm gonna drag the V I'm gonna drag the Vita Shell application to the apps folder. And now I'm gonna drag the the game over to the VPK game folder. Okay, perfect. Now it's done. So go back over to the Vita now. Press circle. And let's go all the way down. And right here you can see that we have VPK apps folder and VPK games folder. So in the apps folder, let's go ahead and install the Vita shell. Press X, press X again, press X one more time, and that's it. Press circle to go back out. Now let's go to the VPK games folder and install the game that we just transferred. Press X, X one more time and X to continue and let it install. Okay, now that's finished. So now you can press the PS button and close the macular shell. And as you can see, we now have the Vita shell and we now have the game that we just installed. So the Vita shell, what it does is that it makes you access your memory card just the same as macular shell but with the Vita shell you can connect the Vita to the PC using the USB cable and that way you can transfer stuff without using FileZilla. Now let's go ahead and try the game out. And there you go it's working now press the PS button and close it now remember guys that the Enkaku is a temporary firmware custom firmware so every time you do um, an odd reboot on the system you will need to run Enkaku again from the macular shell from right here you will need to install macular shell every time you turn every time you power off the ps vita if you put the ps vita in sleep mode then it's okay but once you power it off you have to run the macular shell installation again so that's it guys thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video